Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Carly here. I'm doing another quick review today. And today I'm going to be reviewing this toner from PSA Skincare and it's the Heroin Glow Toner. So let's get into it. Okay, so a little bit about this brand since I'm sure a lot of you maybe have never heard of it. So PSA is owned by Allies of Skin, which is a more like upscale brand, but they really pride themselves on using like very quality ingredients at very efficacious levels. So PSA Skin is um, a similar sort of story. Like they use really great ingredients, but it's a more affordable price point. And they're all like alcohol free, silicone free, synthetic fragrance free, sulfate free, cruelty free. Um, so pretty clean as well. and. I've just been really intrigued about this toner. Um, I'll read a little bit about it and why I wanted it in the first place. But it says, they're saving the day and they're saving the face. Luckily, heroin can do both and then some. This toner gets your pores gleaming with AHAs and botanical extracts, brightens skin tone, calms irritation and blemishes, as well as replenishes moisture. So, for me, I my skin is very sensitive these days and I can't really use a lot of acids. Um, like a lot of chemical exfoliants just really irritate my skin. So I was really intrigued that um, the main acids in here were mandelic and then there was also some lactic acid, which I know both are more gentle than like glycolic or um, salicylic especially, you know, it's really strong. So I thought, okay, like that's, you know, they're more calm acids. Um, they're supposed to do like gentle resurfacing. And then also this toner really prided itself on also like replenishing moisture. So. I love that idea that you could get like a chemical exfoliation without really stripping the skin. Um, so I'll kind of read a little bit more about the ingredients. So there's 6% mandelic and lactic like I said. So they said that the AHAs are larger mole molecules so they lift dead skin cells away from the skin's surface but they don't penetrate pores too deeply which is great especially since I use Retin-A which gets pretty deep in there so I don't really need something that gets deep. Um, into the like deeper layers of my skin. I much prefer something more surface level just to give me like a glow and really um, refine my skin. There's also licorice root, which it says is great at reducing redness and inflammation, which I've been seeing a lot more of lately. So another reason I wanted this. Um, kombucha, which I've used in previous toners I've had, which I don't really feel like does much, but they said it helps with free radical damage and overall hydration. Pomegranate extract, um, which is in an antioxidant, helps with repairing sun damage and hyperpigmentation. And then, so I can never say this, Centella Astesia, Astica, um, but it's it goes by Sika or Taiga Grass. I'm sure you guys have heard of those terms before. And it's known um, to have incredible soothing, anti-inflammatory, and reparative properties. So it helps calm blemishes and irritation and it said it's like a healing balm for your skin. So all of those ingredients really convinced me to buy this and let me tell you my experience. So I've been using this for about a week and a half but three days in I felt like my skin was like pretty transformed and I received so many compliments from um, people I was on Zoom calls with because I don't you know, wear makeup every day um, during the work day and multiple people told me my skin looked really great and like very even and glowy and then even my boyfriend like after three days of use which is nothing I feel like in the skincare world um, told me my skin looked so great. He's like oh your skin is looking like really nice and it's this and I was just so shocked that I saw results so quickly and then also I think the best part about this is that you know, it does have those acids like the mandelic and lactic. So it really does like resurface the top layer of your skin and really helps to sort of um, slough off any like dead skin cells. And if you have any breakouts, like turn those over much quicker. But then I also saw a huge reduction in redness. And I don't know, I believe there's also niacinamide in this. It doesn't say it on the bottle, but I think there is. Um, and then probably the Sika and then apparently um, the pomegranate extract can help with that too and the liquor shirt. All of it must be really calming to my skin because I just saw such a reduction in redness and my skin tone has looked so much more even and just like calm and it feels so much smoother and I'm just really impressed. And like I said, the best part is that it doesn't irritate my skin like so many chemical exfoliants do. Like I'm telling you, I don't remember the last time I've tried something with an AHA or BHA in it that didn't burn my skin and then I had to like wash it off in three minutes because I was just scared that it would damage my skin barrier. This 
Um, I put on, um, I can insert a demo right now showing you the viscosity. So it's a little bit more viscous than water, but it's still pretty thin. So my favorite method of applying it, and as you can see, there's like a little stopper in here. So I shake it out um, onto my, on the palm of my hand, just like maybe like two little shakes. And then I rub my hands together and then I pat it in. And the first time I used it, I felt like maybe a slight tingle at the beginning, but it dissipated within a few seconds and then since then I haven't had any tingling or like burning or anything um, it just feels so gentle on the skin and I usually use it every other night so I'll let it soak in for like maybe 30 minutes before applying the rest of my skincare and yeah I am so 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 impressed um, I do kind of feel like I might go through this a lot that's the only thing I'm looking at it right now and I was like mm, maybe I might go through this it's 3.4 fluid ounces but I'm gonna have to keep repurchasing as long as I don't have an adverse reaction in a few weeks, which I'm sure I'll be fine because usually when I have reactions to products or my skin is really sensitive, I know right away. Um, and like I said, this is just so gentle. And I'm just so surprised that it's a toner that actually is efficacious at really making your skin glowy and like refining the texture, but then also really calming. I feel like a lot of products market themselves that way, but they aren't really formulated that way and they really cause more damage than good. And this one, it really, really does moisturize and keep my skin really balanced. And I'm so impressed. I definitely want to try more from this brand. And if you've tried anything, please let me know. Um, they have like a full range of products now and I'm just really, really curious to see if everything else works as good as this. And I'm sure, you know, there's always like duds um, in every line, but this one I highly recommend.